Nice. He's got one HP. All you gotta do is hit him. Go! Ha! No! Seriously. Timely arrival. Many thanks for your help. Clear skies, friend. What's going on here? Those fellows joined my caravan at Copperan. A couple of hours ago, this man stumbled on our path, almost dead. No healing could help him, so I put him in a tent. And I was about to send word to Copperan. Copperan? That's where we're going. Then perhaps you can do me a favor. A favor? Of course, I'll see that you're rewarded. Almost dead? Sick? No. Wounded. Deep wounds. Ripped open, as if by sharp claws. <coughs> we found him near the road. It looked like he had crawled there. Claw wounds? And no healing could help him? That's right. The wounds were oozing. It's a wonder he was still alive. Why send word? Because this man was a corporal on the Copperan Watch. You want us to take word of his death to Copperan? Yes. Take this note and his personal effects to Sergeant Nikonen. Have him countersign the note then see my agent. He is the owner of the general's store. Meanwhile, get some rest and share our camp. We can even sell you some equipment. Many thanks for your hospitality. Okay. Heavy crossbow. Okay. Ooh. It is more expensive to identify stuff out here. But it's not like we're hurting for money here. So yeah, we are wasting money doing that. Mission of invisibility. Thank you. 
shield plus one, which we can sell. Scroll of Identify. All right. Oh wait, we have to identify that. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. else have anything equipped that needs to be identified? I think we do. So let's put those back on. short rest. To an item. Oh. Okay. Okay, so these items are attuned. Nice. Oh, oh. person. Give that to him. And
Let's see what they have. No time to chat, sorry. Sorry, what? We're packing, sorry. You want to buy something? Ask Galar. I'm busy. Go see Galar. I should have put the shield on him. Wonder if long resting resets his stock. Does not. Okay, moving forward. Do you seek entrance to our fair valley? Yes, we do. Then go see Sergeant Nickenin in the guardhouse. Talk about Thank a voice you. that does Miss not guys. match appearance. Stay in the light. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nickenin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we found something of yours on our way here. Of mine? What exactly? Here they are, Sarge. The ring. The badge, insignia. The man who wore those was of middling height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then? He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Raoul hmm. tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Raoul? Well, first, please accept our sincere condolences. Thanks. Now tell me where, when, how and who? Two days ago. It was at a small camp in some Manakan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him and then... some travellers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend and the guards Master Galar had posted. And no idea who those guys were? No, Sarge. They looked like common mercs to me. Did mm. Roald say anything to you? They had glowing eyes. I it was too late for him. Dire news. 
Listen, go and speak to the Synod. Tell him everything. Tell Shinobi. The Synod? What are you doing this morning? The Synod is the ruler of the Vale of Kaparan. And where is the Synod? You can find him at the town hall at this hour. Give him this note from me and tell him exactly what happened. Here, my signature on the letter from Gala. Take it to Master Warmhearth at the general store. And here's a note for the Synod. Stay in the light. All right. Is this Baron really a dwarf? Are there dwarfs? I can't call a dwarf, my lord. Can Playing I? Minecraft? What you building that in Minecraft? That sounds wrong. Let me save it and restart the game. Getting that, that frames drop again. I don't know if reloading the game or reloading the save would fix it, but it doesn't take long to close and launch this game. Random stuff, mainly just playing to hang out with some friends. Hell yeah. Okay. Charming little town. Wolf Warm Hearth. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? We have a letter for you. Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. Of course, of course. Hmm. Yes. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and mm. here's a receipt to sign. Would you be interested in sampling our wares? Let's see your wares. What do you sell? I'll take all your arrows, some bolts, healing potions. Full plate. Hmm. Okay. Let's give those to them. Those to them. That works. Doesn't seem to be much in this town yet. Cleric. 
sun on your face, travelers. My name is Atina Bladeburn, priestess of Aaron. What can I do for you? Need we need services. your powers. You split split a stack. Okay. That's good for now. Avenger. Are uh, you the local boss of the scavengers? Eh, you could say that. Not boss of much, I'm afraid. <laughs> we used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now, just one. One? Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Timarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. And a prison. Hi. Clear skies. Joris Nikonen says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. Hmm. Military matters I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonen sent you Bye. to me. You see, he is a rarity in the Stonefist Mercenary Company, the one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stonefist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me? That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? Orc invasion? An orc invasion? Happened about 15 years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. Hmm. The Stonefist Mercenary Company? Our military force since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Kathaila. Copran was the seat of her family before the Cataclysm. And uh, Lady Kathaila is on a nostalgia trip? Hmm. Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old Elven nobility, I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Kethiela. Nah. So tell me something about Corporan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, 
There is an Imperial Mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. Lanarak? What's Lanarak? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. A place of remembrance? Yes. For the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, <coughs> you said you were sent by the Legacy Council? We mm -hmm. see a lot of council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, mm. is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yes. And they are as nasty as legends made them. Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. What they do is worse. If you believe the tales that the Paladins of Aenar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city. Talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonin. Not a word about what you told me, though. <laughs> God. Clear skies to you, Seenard. Suck at insight rolls. This town is really dirty. <laughs> Most towns are, lady. I guess we need to talk to the ones marked as citizens. Huh. Access to the canyon is blocked for the moment. Fantastic. Looks like the end there. It's rather silly, really, this young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Oriya. I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week! Mm. And that just on his return from patrol! Tavern. Well to then, say? what can we do for you on this fine morning? The Seenard sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. Mm-hmm. All right. Where's these other citizens? There they are. The Senard's up in mad. Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting, and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. Like an old couple, the two of them. Okay. There's two 
two more I gotta talk to. Maybe both of these will count as two. They were both in here, though. Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? After two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. And whatever it is, it can't be good. Mistress Mildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Welcome to the inn. Oh, her voice is like nails on a chalkboard. We should go. Yes, we Stay should. Stay in the light. Mm. Sergeant Nickaman. Nickaned. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? These highwaymen. The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. Something is wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave, posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. What about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. You mean, one of them is not who he seems? What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Suggestions, Sarge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal mm. reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Mm. Okay.
Baron's waiting for you. Just the lay general layout of this makes me think there's going to be a fight here at some point. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes. It concerns our traveling companion, Lady Cathayla. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. <clears throat> Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Mm. Now be gone, and be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. Yep, there's going to be a fight. But he's a dwarf, after all. <laughs> ah, yes. you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us, just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh? He's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like Dromni at all. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow as envoys of the Legacy Council. He is a nice dwarf. Huh. Back to the end. We have to speak to the woman with the unpleasant voice. Welcome to... We'd like to stay for the night. Sure, get set. Sergeant Nikonin, why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. 
Credentials? What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaeya's claims? My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The Council would appreciate Copperan's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. Mm. Mm. Lady Kathaila has agreed to help the Council in a delicate and vital matter. And what is that? Historical research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential matters are best handled confidentially, my lord. Hmm. Then... Uh, shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the... historical items. Then we can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. <laughs> now back to your post. Yes, my lord. Mm. The Baron's waiting for you. Early days of copper. Wow, they really fleshed out their stories. Okay. Here, this is the place. And so near the dungeons. How subtle mm -hmm. and fitting. Please, Lady Katea, before we inventory your heirlooms, there is something I wish to show you. He's a sword. You will find it interesting, hopefully. Is that the Baron? Now we shall all have a nice long chat together. And you will give me that crown.
Ah, again, harder. Nice. Ah! Wow. They have a lot of HP, don't they? You can take it. You'll die anyway. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Action search. Hit him again. Advantage. Mm. I'm sorry, what? Okay, then. How did I miss? Unfortunate. Jesus Christ. We have six enemies. And we've already killed one.
brother's rolls of one. Ah, impressive. And then I backed it up with a critical. Finish him off. That one didn't even fight back. Nice. You have to try harder than that. Yep, that'll do it. Nice sneak attack. Got a mess. Well struck. Wait. Okay. Take out the assassin. Keep nice. coming. Beautiful. damage. We'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> Gotta love disadvantage. Bolt. Bend the knee or perish. Ugh. You know, just die. Seventeen doesn't hit. Oh, my. Mm. 
now. Ooh, so doesn't lucky. Guiding light. Beautiful. The true baron. Gromnir, thank Aena, you're safe. Yes, I am. Thanks to Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. Now, old friend, go see Atima with Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I am the Sainard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. But... No buts. I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true. Leveled up again. Okay. So you open the secret passage. Okay. See you in a little bit. Hey. My oldest spawn. 
You're in this game. You're in this game. No, I'm a dwarf. You're a dwarf. <laughs> Not by much. Only by like an inch. No, she. Your, your mother would be the half one. Bye. Uh, love it. So we just wanted a big circle. Okay, so we need to do this other pattern, which I assume. That off. Put that on. And turn that on. Go. Cannot save down. Tell us, Lady Katayla, what did you find? <clears throat> a gem? This is my spell book. I oh remember my. a wand, a robe, some money, as well as a piece of paper. What does it say? I don't know. There is only one word written on the paper. Adrastio. Is that another place? I'm not sure. I feel the pull coming back. I guess we'll soon be on the road again, then. More monsters to kill. Fantastic. What about hmm. that door? Another secret from Imperial What he said times? wasn't what the caption said. Hell of a door. I expect some fancy elven weapons here. Beautiful boots, wondrous item. Okay, I see you. A major gate. Captain Ironshell was right. This dusty old room? Yes, look at it. It's perfectly intact. It is locked, though. Well, how do we unlock it? You need to use its name. It would normally be engraved nearby, but this was a private, secret gate. So, we can't use it? I know its name. This was my family's. So? Once you get me to my master, I'll give you the name. I guess that's fair. And then we teleport to Kerkiflin? That's fantastic! I'm not sure the Seanard would want to wait. Then I'll give him the name. But you still need to stay with me. She's tough, but at least she doesn't mm. sound crazy anymore. Watch your words, you... <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. Okay. All right. To the throne room. Mm -hmm. It was this way. Or was it? Oh. Nope. The key.
Lady Kitaeya, dear friends, words are not enough to convey my thanks. Your swift action has saved my life and our veil. We shall be more wary of the Council's warnings. The Council warned you? Hmm. Indeed. I thought they exaggerated, alas. If anything, they weren't loud enough. Sorax are real. You saw them with your own eyes. Their presence was a clear message. Be wary. Be careful. True. We won't let our guard down. How does this change your position? Do you plan to join the Council? Or simply to help us in our endeavors? We shall hmm. join. The discovery of the Hidden Gate will allow us to communicate swiftly. But enough about matters of state. The Cynard has the right of it. The only benefit of power is the ability to reward friends. And true friends of Corporan, you have proven to be. Thanks for your kind words. We feel quite rewarded. You are hereby granted permanent citizenship of Corporan, with all associated rights, as well as free use of our rediscovered gate. The keys to the town, maybe? Hmm. And these gems from our minds are well suited to holding enchantments. Go forth on your journey with our blessings. Many thanks for your generous gifts. May Aina watch over Copperan. Okay. So... Yeah. Let's go back to the merchant. He might be. Sound right? Yeah. Then we're going to long rest, double up. Well met. What can we do for you on this fine morning? What do you sell? Wait, he doesn't identify? Oh, oh. Well, damn. I guess we're going to have to go back to the main town. But we'll long rest here first. Wait, what? Oh. We have to start the long rest first. There. Level 6 fighter. Yeah, increased AC.
<clears throat> Definitely want more insight because goddamn. Been filling a lot of those checks. an extra third level spell slot. Unlock class features. Blessed healer. When you cast a fellow first level or higher that restores hit points to a creature other than yourself, you regain hit points equal. Two times the spell. Okay. So it's self-heal as well. You've encountered some dragon kin. been useful in that last fight. Okay. The Master's Tower. Okay. You have to travel to the Master's Tower. What the shit? Th then, is there no one who can identify magic items then? We'll check him again, but... Well met! What? What do you sell? Yeah. No identifications. Maybe... The cleric can do it. That, that was the cleric. Son, what can I do for you? We need your pa Okay.
thought I had more magical items. Yeah, yeah, that there it is. Boots of elven kind. Bandages on decks, stealth ability checks. There we go. Twenty three AC. Not bad. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this was seen out on loot, apparently. We can go down here. Rations. Yes, please. And more rations. I'm guessing that's the prison. It's gotta be. Okay. Let's create a hard save. And 